The most precious of things are often found in the most unexpected places. The title Twilight Samurai might at first make you picture badass samurai that go in epic fights at sunset. But this film is instead about a humble, devoted, and impoverished, widowed samurai in the Edo period. Sabai Uguchi, played by Hiroyoku Sanada, is the Twilight Samurai because he dashes home at dusk to spend time with his young daughters and sick mother. This is not at all an action movie, nor does it have that many sword fights. It's even slow at times, but what it does have are moments and characters that you never forget. It destroys the common samurai image and gives a truthful representation of the harsh and unpleasant social life of the ordinary samurai during the Meiji era. It is an emotional and bittersweet tale, and for that, it has gained much praise. Whenever you see lists for the best samurai films of all time, the Twilight Samurai is often mentioned and it competes with the likes of Kurosawa. The title Twilight has a double meaning, one being the one I mentioned earlier, and the other dealing with the period itself. The story takes place two years before the Boshin War. This is basically where the feudal Japan era draws to an end. This was a time where samurai were fading away, and they were becoming unnecessary in a modern Japanese society. <laughs> The Twilight Samurai was directed by Yoji Yamada and is based on a novel. It stars the excellent actor Hiroyuki Sanada. Sanada plays a samurai named Saibai Uguchi and he wishes for nothing more than to farm and care for his family. But he is trapped in an honor culture that demands that he fight and kill. The killing of a man requires animal ferocity and a calm disregard for one's own life. I have neither of those within me now. That is a quote from Saibai Iguchi. This quote basically tells you exactly what kind of person he is. Mr. Iguchi is very much a relatable character, and he's one that I found myself very interested in. Instead of being a flashy samurai and worrying about status, he sacrifices his appearance both monetarily and in ranking, just so that his two daughters and sick mother could live a decent life. Each day he doesn't think about himself one bit. He doesn't even care about rank. He lost his wife and even had to sell his katana, which is a samurai's livelihood, and he did this in order to pay for her funeral. This really is a display of true honor and loyalty, and I really wish we saw more characters like this in films. He wears a ratty and worn kimono, he's quiet, sensitive, and he smells like he's been fighting for days. His lack of personal hygiene or interest in nightlife makes him the target for being made fun of by his bookkeeper co-workers. He's also berated by his uncle, which is played by the great Tetsuru Tamba. He demands to know why his nephew has not found someone to remarry. He believes that if Saibai finds a wife, it will restore order to the Iguchi household. I'll also add that this uncle is kind of crazy because he ties his own sister, which is Saibai's mother, to a post. Saibai has to maintain peace in the household while halfway joking with his daughters about his insane uncle. The characters in this film are very likable, and I really couldn't help myself from wishing that everything just works out for them. But of course in movies that never happens. So, not many people know this, but this film is actually the first of an unofficial samurai trilogy. It was made consecutively, beginning in 2002, and the other two films, The Hidden Blade and Love and Honor, coming out in 2004 and 2006. I find that The Twilight Samurai is the most easily accessible film in the trilogy. The other two films you'd have to do a little hunting to find, but luckily you can now get them on SamuraiDVD.com. Each one of these films has limited action because they're mainly dramas and they take place during the saddest time period in samurai history. They relate fictional stories against a historical background as samurai culture began to decline in the 19th century. The film may be slow moving in parts, but it keeps you watching because it hints at fighting and conflict that's going to take place later on in the film. When the fights finally arrive, they have a sense of doom and misery. 
The director makes the story linger until the main character is forced into a physical challenge. But it's not enough for his protagonist to defend himself. He has to live with all the consequences of that action. Something that makes this film seem very real. There's also a really interesting plotline that happens later on in the film. This may be mild spoilers, but the main character eventually gets summoned to kill a skilled swordsman that has barricaded himself in a house. All the police officers are too afraid to even retrieve the corpses left behind in the killer's front yard. It's such a great setup and premise, and it has an even better payoff that I never forget. The romance element wasn't bad either. It was very subtle and believable, and it didn't feel like the studio forced it there. The technical parts of this film are really great too. The framing, the editing, the shots where the camera would just stay there for extra moments. It was all very effective. Nothing felt rushed. Yamada lets the story unfold at its own pace. Again, it may be too slowly paced for some viewers. People wanting an action film won't get that with this film. But if this film was shortened and just had the action scenes, it would be very forgettable and very weak. The audience gets to spend time with each character, and you live in the setting, and because of that, we get more meaning out of the film. The score is also really interesting. It's space-like mixing traditional Japanese music with a synthesizer. It gives the film a deeper feeling. It's very subtle, so you might not hear it, but instead you feel it. So, The Twilight Samurai is a must-see film, and even though it has a slower pace, it instead lets you breathe and live in its world. It builds and builds into an unforgettable story. It has great characters that you care about. It has meaningful stories, talented directing. I'm definitely going to be watching the other two films in Yamada's Samurai Trilogy, and I hope that they were even a fraction of how good this film is. So all in all, this is what modern cinema is lacking, and why The Twilight Samurai is such a beautiful film.